Celebrating Arizona Statehood. Welcome to today's presentation, Celebrating Arizona Statehood. Arizona officially became part of the Union on February 14, 1912. Arizona was originally part of New Mexico. The land was ceded to the United States in 1848 after Mexico was defeated in the Mexican-American War. Arizona became a separate territory in 1863 and achieved statehood in 1912. The state flag was adopted January 25, 1917. The red and yellow rays represent the original 13 colonies as well as the setting sun. The large copper star identifies Arizona as the largest producer of copper in the United States. The blue represents the same color that is in the United States flag. In the early years of Arizona, the state was known for its five economic areas, copper, cattle, cotton, citrus, and climate. Many jobs were in agriculture, mining, and ranching. Though that is less important or focused in the area, the five C's still play an important cultural role. Today we're going to look at mostly travel and tour guidebooks on this 48th State of the Union. Our first title, 100 Classic Hikes in Arizona, Grand Canyon, Colorado Plateau, San Francisco Peaks, Mongolian Rim, Sedona, Sky Islands, Sonoran Desert. This is the newest update in the popular classic hike series of full color coffee table quality hiking guidebooks. This informative and easy to use guide is also so beautifully produced, it makes a terrific gift for an outdoor enthusiast, visitor, or a new neighbor in Arizona. The updated edition features 17 all new hikes, more than half the color photos are new, all the hikes are completely reviewed and rechecked. Previous editions of this guidebook have been very popular and readers on goodreads.com give it four stars. All hikes have been vetted by public lands. Next title, Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico. What to do each month to have a beautiful garden all year. The when to and how to schedule for growing, caring for, and maintaining your Southwest garden. This is a great reference book and is key to successful gardening in the region where you live. This book takes the guesswork out of gardening for anyone residing in the Southwest. With this book, You'll know what to do each month to enjoy a thriving garden all year from January to December. Chronologically organized, this guide is full of critical gardening, when to, and how to advice, along with illustrated step-by-step -step instructions. The author is a botanist and garden writer from Tucson. Readers will find brilliant garden photography and the most current information available. Complete with specific advice on growing flowers both annuals and perennials, trees, ground cover, cacti, succulents, lawns, and more, you'll not find a better reference book. From planting to watering and fertilizing, and from maintenance to problem solving, Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico month-by-month -month gardening shows all levels of gardeners the best practices for gardening in climates and weather conditions of all kinds. Our next title is Arizona Oddities, Land of Anomalies and Tamales by Marshall Trimble. Arizona has stories as peculiar as its stunning landscapes. The Lost Dutchman's rumored cache of gold sparked a legendary feud. Kidnapping victim Larcina Pennington Page survived two weeks alone in the wilderness and her first request upon rescue was for a chaw of tobacco. Discover how the town of Y got its name, how the government built a lake that needed mowing, and how wild camels ended up in North America. Author and official state historian Marshall Trimble unearthed these and other amusing anomalies, outstanding obscurities, and compelling curiosities in the state's history. Our next title is Arizona Scenic Roads and Hikes. 
Unforgettable Journeys in the Grand Canyon State by Roger Naylor. Arizona Scenics Roads and Hikes directs visitors toward the very best the state has to offer. Travel from sun-kissed deserts to the summits of snow-capped mountains, from the cosmic abyss of the Grand Canyon to the red rocks of Sedona and the soaring monoliths of Monument Valley. Visit ancient Native American villages, chase Old West legends, and get your kicks on Route 66. In this captivating new guide, Roger Naylor features all 27 of Arizona's state-designated scenic and historic roads, including five national scenic byways. The stunning drives are arranged by region and include starting and ending points, mileage, photos, full descriptions, and suggestions on locally owned places to eat and sleep. Each road trip is paired with attractions and activities, including nearby hiking trails. Create a lifetime of memories while exploring the details of Arizona's endlessly diverse and amazing scenery. The next title, Arizona State Parks, A Guide to Amazing Places in the Grand Canyon State by Roger Naylor. This book is the winner of the 2020 New Mexico Arizona Book Award for Travel. Home to one of the seven natural wonders of the world, Arizona is a beacon for outdoor enthusiasts. The desert landscape is brimming with opportunities for exploration and adventure. In this guide, we join travel writer Roger Naylor as he takes us through the state parks of this amazing region. The parks featured throughout this book offer some of the best hiking, camping, fishing, boating, stargazing, and wildlife watching in the state. It's no surprise to Arizona residents that these state parks offer the same kind of experience found in national parks and monuments, providing great adventure through easy day trips and weekend getaways. Next title, Best Day Hikes on the Arizona National Scenic Trail by Serena Rana. The 800-mile Arizona National Scenic Trail is as beautiful as it is daunting. It crosses the state from Mexico to Utah. It travels up and down Sky Island, mountain ranges, across the Serraro-studded Sonoran Desert, through the largest ponderosa pine forest in the world, past Arizona's highest peak, and from rim to rim of the Grand Canyon. But you don't need to hike the entire, entire route to experience its historical, geological, and botanical significance. Many scenic views and important sites are accessible within a few hours journey. Trail expert Serena Rana guides you through the most interesting and accessible portions of the trail in 30 carefully crafted routes. Each entry includes navigational information and interpretive facts about the trail's cultural history, natural history, and geography. Inside, you'll find 30 hikes through the most scenic and significant portions of the trail, in-depth route descriptions and fun facts, detailed maps and full-color photos that highlight Arizona's diverse environments, and information on area food, activities, and lodging. This guidebook was created in partnership with the Arizona Office of Tourism. It's perfect for casual and experienced hikers alike, so get out there and enjoy the trail. Best Easy Day Hikes Flagstaff 2020 by Bruce Grubbs. Discover up-to-date, expert-tested easy hikes for every skill in the Flagstaff area. Great for families, Day Hikers, Transplants, and Tourists, Best Easy Day Hikes Flagstaff 3rd Edition includes concise descriptions and detailed maps of the best accessible yet epic hikes near Flagstaff. This is a concise book with descriptions and detailed maps for 20 easy to follow hikes in the region that allow hikers of all levels to enjoy beautiful views, get fit in the outdoors, and learn about the region's history. Look inside to find hikes suited to every ability, mile-by-mile -mile directions and clear trade map, trail maps, GPS coordinates. The author is an avid camper, backpacker, hiker, mountain biker, cross-country skier, outdoor writer, and photographer. He also lives in Flagstaff, Arizona. 
Best Tent Camping 2019 Arizona, your car camping guide to scenic beauty, the sounds of nature, and an escape from civilization. Second edition, author Kristen Olman Phillips. The Grand Canyon State provides a spectacular backdrop for some of the most scenic campgrounds in the country, from the cool forests of the Mongolian Rim and the White Mountains to the verdant crowns of Southern Arizona Sky Islands. But do you know which campgrounds offer the most privacy? Which are the best for first time campers? Kristen Ullman Phillips and Kelly Phillips have traversed the entire state and compiled the most up-to-date research to steer you to the perfect spot. Best Tent Camping Arizona presents 50 national park, state park, and recreation site campgrounds organized into five distinct regions. Selections are based on location, topography, size, and overall appeal, and every site is rated for beauty, privacy, spaciousness, safety and security, and cleanliness, so you'll always know what to expect. The new full color edition of this proven guidebook provides everything you need to know with detailed maps of each campground and key information such as fees, restrictions, dates of operation and facilities, as well as driving directions and GPS coordinates. Whether you seek a quiet campground near a fish field stream or family campground with all the amenities, grab Best Tent Camping Arizona is an escape for all who wish to find those special locales that recharge the mind, body, and spirit. This guide is a keeper. Best Hikes Phoenix 2020, the greatest views, wildlife, and desert strolls, second edition by Bruce O. Grubbs. Concise descriptions and detailed maps for 40 easy to follow trails in the greater Phoenix area that allow hikers of all levels to enjoy beautiful views, get fit in the outdoors, and learn about the region's history. Best Hikes Phoenix provides the latest information to plan a customized trip. Common and lesser known hikes, full color photos, maps, GPS waypoints, and detailed trail descriptions, insightful hike overviews, details on distance, difficulty, canine compatibility, permits, and more. Ranging from easy nature walks to strenuous multi-day backpack trips, the routes in this guide offer something for every hiker within easy reach of Phoenix, Tempe, Mesa, Scottsdale, Chandler, and Apache Junction. Find hikes suited to every ability. Experience the thrill of hiking in solitude surrounded by wildlife. Discover desert flora, spectacular views, and more. Birding Arizona, What to Know, Where to Go by Charles J. Babbitt. Mr. Babbitt shares 40 years of birding experiences and vast knowledge to show when, where, and how to see many of Arizona's most fascinating, rare, and beautiful birds. With its maps and descriptions, it's the ideal guide for beginning and experienced birders who want to enjoy some of the best bird watching in Arizona. Arizona is a mecca for bird watchers worldwide. With over 500 recorded species, almost half of all the birds of North America, birders come from across the country to see the local birds and the occasional Mexican rarity. This book will help you find, identify, and appreciate birds in every corner of the state. When you're ready to bird Arizona, take this book with you as you start out on your birding adventures. Foraging Arizona, Finding, Identifying, and Preparing Edible Wild Foods in Arizona by Christopher Nierges. From beech peas to service berries, hen of the woods to Indian cucumber, ostrich ferns to sea rocket, this guide uncovers the edible wild foods and healthful herbs of Arizona. Helpfully organized by environmental zone, the book is an authoritative guide for nature lovers, outdoorsmen, and gastronomes. Inside, you'll find detailed descriptions of edible plants and animals, tips on finding, preparing, and using foraged foods, a glossary of botanical terms, 87 color photos. 
Use Foraging Arizona as a field guide or as a delightful armchair read. No matter what you're looking for, be it the curative heal all or tasty purse lane, this guide will enhance your next backpacking trip or easy stroll around the garden and may just provide some new favorites for your dinner table. Farmers, Arizona and the Grand Canyon by Gregory McNamee. Take the guesswork out of vacation planning. Farmers hires only seasoned experts, in this case, two renowned journalists who live full-time in Arizona. Their advice is savvy, dependable, and based not on one or two short trips to the state, but on a lifetime of exploration. They offer an up-to-date, detail, and tip-rich commentary on Arizona's iconic sites and will introduce you to restaurants, off-the-beaten-path attractions, nature spots, tours, bars, and shops that few tourists know to visit. So whether you're going to be rafting the Grand Canyon, hiking the Sedona, living the high life in Phoenix and Scottsdale, or walking in the path of Native American history, this is the book for you. Frommers, Arizona and the Grand Canyon contains dozens of stunning full color photos throughout, helpful maps, including a full detachable foldout map, strategic itineraries, including for families and week long stays so you can make the most of your time, authentic experiences to help you appreciate this unique Southwestern culture, cuisine, historic sites and customs like a local. Candid reviews of the best restaurants attractions, tours, shops, and experiences, and advice on the ones not worth your time and money. Accurate, up-to-date information on transportation, useful websites, costs, telephone numbers, and more. Budget planning, help with the low down on prices and ways to save money, whether you're traveling on a shoestring or in the lap of luxury. A Guide to Southern Arizona's Historic Farms and Ranches, Rustic Southwest Retreats by Lily de Barberi. Experience Southwestern heritage, culture, and cuisine while learning to rope and herd cattle, trail ride through the wilderness, or make prickly pear syrup. With roots dating back to the mid-1800s, Southern Arizona's historic guest ranches and farm stays include Spain's first mission in the continental United States a former World War II prison camp and boys boarding school, and a Butterfield stagecoach stop. Intimately connected to Arizona's land and legacy, these unparalleled retreats have hosted countless artists, movie stars, and politicians, and continue to enrich their present day communities through food, education, and conservation. Pack your bags and join travel writer Lily for a journey into the rural west south of the Gila River. Hiking Northern Arizona, a guide to Northern Arizona's greatest hiking adventures by Bruce Grubbs. This guide has completely updated information for 120 hikes in Northern Arizona, including the Grand Canyon, with different routes suggested for each season. From short strolls to overnight desert adventures, this book contains new, easy to read maps, beautiful black and white photos, up-to-date trail information, routes for beginners and experts, anecdotal narratives, and wildlife descriptions along popular trails as well as those less traveled. Our next title, Oak Flat. A Fight for Sacred Land in the American West by Lauren Redness. Oak Flat is a serene high elevation mesa that sits above the southeastern Arizona desert, 15 miles to the west of the San Carlos Apache Indian Reservation. For the San Carlos tribe, Oak Flat is a holy place, an ancient burial ground and religious site where Apache girls celebrate the coming of age ritual known as the Sunrise Ceremony. In 1955, a massive untapped copper reserve was discovered nearby. A decade later, a law was passed transferring the area to a private company whose planned copper mine will wipe off Oak Flat off the map, sending its natural springs, 
petroglyph-covered rocks and old-growth trees tumbling into a void. Oak Flat tells the story of a race against time struggle for a swath of American land which pits one of the poorest communities in the United States against the federal government and two of the world's largest mining conglomerates. Redness, deep reporting and haunting artwork anchor this mesmerizing human narrative. The book follows the fortunes of two families with profound connections to the contested site. The Nosies, an Apache family whose teenage daughter is an activist and leader in the Oak Flat fight, and the Gorhams, a mining family whose patriarch was a sheriff in the lawless early days of Arizona statehood. The still unresolved Oak Flat conflict is ripped from today's headlines, but his story resonates with foundational American themes, the saga of westward expansion, the resistance and resilience of native people, and the efforts of profiteers to control the land and unearth treasure beneath it while the lives of individuals hang in the balance. Res Metal, Inside the Navajo Nation Heavy Metal Scene by Ashcan Salanti Stone. Res Metal captures the creative energy of indigenous youth culture in the 21st century bridging communities from disparate corners of Indian country and across generations, heavy metal has touched a collective nerve on the Navajo reservation in Arizona in particular. Many cultural leaders, including former Navajo president, Russell Begay, have begun to recognize heavy metal's ability to inspire Navajo communities facing chronic challenges such as poverty, depression, and addiction. Heavy metal music speaks to the frustrations, fears, trials, and hope of living in Indian country. Res Metal highlights a seminal movement in indigenous heavy metal when Kyle Felter, lead singer of the Navajo heavy metal band I Don't Conform, sent a demo tape to Fleming Rasmussen, the Grammy Award winning producer of several Metallica albums, including Master of Puppets. A few months later, Rasmussen, captivated by the music, flew from Denmark to Wendell Rock, Arizona to meet the band. Through a series of vivid images and interviews focused on the venues, bands, and fans of the Navajo Nation metal scene, Res Metal provides a window into this fascinating world. Taste of Tucson by Jackie Alpers. This is a collection of delicious recipes from local restaurant experts and the author's own original recipes, all inspired by the rich culture of Southern Arizona. A cookbook dedicated to the foods inspired by the region's beauty and diversity, Taste of Tucson discovers through recipes and photos the unique, the unique mix of cultures that create Southern Arizona's incredible cuisine. Award-winning photographer and cookbook author Jackie Alpers shares her own inspired food creations in this book, as well as her favorite restaurants, dishes, while incorporating the history of the Sonora area, the mysticism and lore, and how it has contributed to the food of the people who live there. Building from tried and true basics and tutorials on tacos, enchiladas, carne asada, and huevos rancheros, she divulges secrets to make a Sonoma's most unique savories and sweets, including chicken mole amarillo, adobe pulled pork, red pozole, dark chocolate, and coffee figgy pudding cakes and more. For cooks of all levels from anywhere in the world who love to dine on this Southwestern region's foods, this cookbook welcomes you to bring Sonora's best and most iconic tastes into your own kitchen. Our final title is Tombstone, The Earp Brothers, Doc Holliday, and The Vendetta Ride from Hell by Tom Calvin. On the afternoon of October 26, 1881, eight men clashed in what would be known as the most famous shootout in American frontier history. 30 bullets were exchanged in 30 seconds, killing three men and wounding three others. 
The fight sprang forth from a tense, hot summer. Cattle rustlers had been terrorizing the back country of Mexico and selling the livestock they stole to corrupt ranchers. The Mexican government built forts along the border to try to thwart American outlaws, while Arizona citizens became increasingly agitated. Rustlers, who became known as the Cowboys, began to kill each other as well as innocent citizens. That October, tensions boiled over with Ike and Billy Clanton, Tom and Frank McClory, and Billy Claiborne confronting the Tombstone Marshal, Virgil Earp, and the Sutton deputized Wyatt and Morgan Earp and shotgun-toting Doc Holliday. The best-selling author peers behind decades of legends surrounding the story of Tombstone to reveal the true story of the drama and violence that made it famous. Tombstone also digs deep into the vendetta ride that followed the tragic gunfight when Wyatt and Warren Earp and Holliday went vigilante to track down the likes of Johnny Ringo, Curly Bill Brosius, and other cowboys who had cowardly gunned down his brothers. That vendetta ride would make the myth of Wyatt Earp complete and punctuate the struggle for power in the American frontier's last boom town. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation and found it educational and fun in learning about the history of our glorious state and to get out there and explore its vast beauty. Thank you for joining me today. Please check out the library website at www.mcldaz.org for more virtual programs. The library also offers downloadable audios, streaming movies, lifelong learning, and more, all free with a library card. Until next time, stay safe.